King Charles urged to confront Meghan and Harry. Piers Morgan's call for a difficult conversation. Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Gist, where we bring to you the latest updates about your favorite celebrities. If it's your first time here, please kindly subscribe so you be notified on any latest information. Thanks. In a bold and assertive statement, TV presenter Piers Morgan has voiced his opinion that King Charles must have a difficult conversation with his son, Prince Harry, and daughter-in-law, Meghan Markle. Morgan believes that the couple, who stepped down from their royal duties in 2020, should cease using their royal titles. The outspoken media personality expressed his views during an appearance on The Meghan Kelly Show, emphasizing that King Charles should tell Harry and Meghan that they can no longer use the titles of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Morgan, known for his often controversial views on the Sussexes, argued that the couple should not trade on their titles, and that King Charles needs to address this issue directly. They shouldn't be using the titles of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex bestowed on them by the monarchy, Morgan stated. He went on to express his hope that King Charles, despite being massively distracted by his illness, will eventually have the conversation and inform Harry and Meghan that they cannot keep their titles. I'm sorry, Morgan suggested the king should say to the couple. The debate over the Sussexes' use of their titles has been a recurring theme since Harry and Meghan stepped down from their royal roles. Despite being stripped of their HRH titles, the couple occasionally still use their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles, sparking criticism from various quarters, including Morgan, Harry, 39, and Meghan, 42, have maintained a strained relationship with the royal family since their departure from royal duties in March 2020. Relocating to California, the couple has returned to the UK only a handful of times, most notably for Queen Elizabeth II's funeral in September 2022. Their move and subsequent interviews, including a high-profile one with Oprah Winfrey, have only added to the tension between them and the rest of the royal family. The relationship between Harry and his father, King Charles, has also been under scrutiny. The pair last reunited earlier this year when King Charles publicly announced his cancer diagnosis. Harry made a swift trip to the UK to see his father in person following the news. This upcoming visit to London by Harry is anticipated with interest as he is set to attend a ceremony marking the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games at St. Paul's Cathedral on May 8. With King Charles expected to be in London at the same time, there is speculation that the father and son could meet again, although sources close to the royal family suggest any such meeting will be brief due to the king's packed schedule. While the conversation around titles and family dynamics continues, Meghan has been busy with her own ventures. She recently launched a lifestyle brand named American Riviera Orchard, reflecting her entrepreneurial spirit and interest in wellness and lifestyle products. Additionally, she is working on a new podcast with Lemonada and serves as an executive producer on Harry's upcoming Netflix polo show, details of which are eagerly awaited by their supporters. The potential conversation between King Charles and the Sussexes, as suggested by Piers Morgan, could be a pivotal moment in the ongoing saga of Harry and Meghan's relationship with the royal family. As King Charles navigates his health challenges and a busy schedule, the question remains whether he will find the time and resolve to address this contentious issue head-on. For Harry and Meghan, the discussion about their titles is just one aspect of their complex and evolving relationship with the monarchy. As the world watches, the dynamics within the royal family continue to unfold with each development adding another layer to the public's understanding of this high-profile family. Whether or not King Charles heeds Morgan's advice, the conversation around Harry and Meghan's roles and titles within the royal context is far from over.